Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Rise and shine, Salt Lake City. <laughs> it's whack time. Welcome to Salt Lake. And um, I can't tell you how pleased I am that you're here and how many people have told me that they're pleased that you're here. It's really fabulous for us. We don't get visitors here that much. The, the Pony Express stops every week, you know, but um, to get a whole room full of conservators, I don't think it's ever happened, actually. So um, thank you very much for coming. And um, I personally hope that you have a fabulous time. But I can tell you there are other people here that want the same. So we're, we're in agreement that we want you to have a great time, a great stay in Salt Lake and um, the weather's cooperating. We, we call these perfect days, a little bit nippy in the morning. It'll warm up a bit and then it'll cool off again. Um, it, we, we had a rainstorm on Sunday. That was, that was the rainstorm for the month. So <laughs> probably got that out of the way for now. The, um, the point of this is actually quite serious. Um, I, I am very grateful that you've um, turned out in, in numbers and that you're willing to present here to, you, to, our, to us, to ourselves, that we're willing to update ourselves on the status of uh, conservation in the western states. I, I've felt for a very long time that the benefit of these conferences is lost after the fact, that it's a great moment, we get a chance to get together, the best start parts are the kibitzing that goes on in the wings and that's where the secrets are exchanged and you know over coffee and, and a, a snack. But that there's no record of Peter Waters giving a talk, right? I mean you really have to search to find any evidence that Peter Waters was even in, a, in an audience giving a talk. And I just think that's kind of a shame. And you know those days are gone now so we've lost the opportunity. So we're taking the chance um, on posterity to record this and to present it to our colleagues that are not able to be here um, and to the future. So we're hopeful that this will set an interesting precedent and you know it'll never replace conferences but maybe it'll make some of this information available to us and heaven forbid we should forget anything about a great talk. We might look back and you know see what we, we, what we thought we remembered anyway. So that's going to happen while we're here. Um, the building layout, so you know, just business stuff. There is a bathroom that's actually just past there, but to get there, we kind of walk around. Um, but there, there are bathrooms on this floor. There are Malby Globes on the third floor. You're on the first floor of a building that has five floors in the middle of it. But two floors around, so we're in the new part of the building, and this has two floors, and it wraps around the core building, which is five. And so in the core building, you have the third floor, which is where the Malby Globes are in the reading room, and I hope you'll take an opportunity to go and see uh, Lorraine's work. She'll give a talk about the Globes, and maybe that'll encourage you to go and see them. The conservation lab for the Marriott Library is up on the fifth floor in the core building. So in the core, you can get an elevator or take the stairs all the way to the top. In this peripheral part of the building, there are two floors, and so, you know, you're almost at the top now. Um, uh, what else do I want to tell you? We are scheduled to have some wonderful talks. I've had a chance to look at some of the abstracts and all of the abstracts, and they're fabulous. So um, that should be wonderful. We have a slight schedule change. Uh, Susan is giving a webinar, so in the afternoon session, instead of being first, she'll be last, so we'll make a, a little um, change there. There'll probably be other changes. It turns out this is organic and we're, we're making, uh, making it up, in, in fact, as we go along, so welcome to the process. And um, what else did we want to tell them? Maybe that's, that's, oh, we want to thank people. I um, am grateful for support from TrueView, um, our friends who have made the um, break sessions possible. And 
to um, Belfour for um, supporting the reception at Natural History Museum tomorrow night, tomorrow late afternoon. That's another change that's happened actually. So I think Chris has sent out word, but the, um, we're gonna have tours from 3.30 to 5, reception food from 5 to 7, and the museum is open tomorrow night till 9. And so you can see the museum whenever you don't have food in your hand or eat and drink and then wander the museum. Fabulous museum, so that's, that's a piece. And your, your um, name tags will get you into the Fine Art Museum, which is just at, uh, up on the third floor is the entrance to uh, facing east, and that's the mall which will take you to the Fine Art Museum. It's a five minute walk to the fi Fine Art Museum, and uh, if you miss seeing the Bruegel, you've gone home too soon. <laughs> so you should definitely stop in. Gretchen's gonna talk about the museum's renovation. It's just opened, it's been closed for quite a while, so this is a big deal here locally. And I wanna thank my staff, um, and in fact, Angela in the back, uh, who's recording us, and um, could, could the preservation department folks rec raise a hand, raise a hand, all right? So thank you guys for everything. They've done um, all kinds of hidden stuff behind the scenes to make this work, and I'm grateful. And if you'd like a tour of the lab, I don't think it's formal, so it, we'll just wander you up and show you around. Grab somebody from, from uh, the shop and tell them you'd like to see it. So during breaks and stuff, we, we'd be glad to show off the, the shop. We are fortunate to have uh, one of the most beautiful labs in the world, so there's that. <laughs> and I would like to thank Alberta Comer, who is um, the director of the Marriott Library and um, my boss, and she's kind enough to come and welcome you today. And so I'd like to turn this over to Alberta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the J. Willard Mary Library. How many of you here for the very first time? Oh, excellent, excellent. I hope you'll take, uh, as Randy was saying, I hope you'll take the time uh, to look around the library. I'm up on the fifth floor. Feel free to come on up and see what the fifth floor is like. We'd love to have you up there as well. Poke around, see what you can find in the library. So this is my official welcome to all of you. As Randy said, you're here for beautiful weather. So I hope you get a chance to get out and do a little walking and hiking while you're here. Well, the Marriott Library and the University of Utah have maintained a long-standing commitment to preservation and appreciation for the vital role that conservators play in preserving cultural property. From the founding of one of the earliest book conservation labs in U.S. research libraries, the Marriott Library has continued a progressive approach to preservation. These lasting artifacts that you all work with are a cornerstone to education. And I'm excited that at this conference, we will share some of the developments made by the cultural institutions within our university in ensuring the longevity and accessibility of our preservation programs. WAC has come to represent a multidisciplinary collaboration, seamlessly unifying institutions under the common goal of art conservation. The University of Utah has approached its preservation policies in a similar manner. For the purposes of disaster planning, the Marriott Library, the Utah Museum of Fine Art, and the Natural History Museum of Utah have become linked in their goal to preserve irreplaceable collections from the dangers of being housed along the Wasatch Front. Campus-wide protection is ensured by Belfer's Red Alert System, and as you will hear in papers today from Gretchen Dietrich, Executive Director for the Museum of Fine Art, and tomorrow from Sarah George, Executive Director, Director of the Natural History Museum, the university has a dedication to stabilizing and ensuring the protection of cultural artifacts in the seismic zone. I have appreciated the commitment to conservation within the University of Utah and WAC. Preserving culture from the past is important, not only to today's researchers, faculty, and students, but to all of us as lifelong learners. 
And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Randy for all the work that he's done to bring this conference together and for all the work that he does throughout the state and throughout the nation and actually around the world. Um, he's done some pretty exciting work and I'm really proud to call him my colleague. So thank you, Randy. Well, I hope you enjoy the conference and anything that we can do to make your uh, stay with us more pleasurable, please let Randy or me know. Uh, we really want you to have a great time while you're here at the University of Utah. Again, welcome to the J. Ward Marriott Library. Thank you. Yeah.